you this glory when it gets on you this favor when it gets on you this miracle anointing when it gets on you it's going to break out and there's going to be a new life and there's going to be a new grace and there's going to be a new power and there's going to be a new anointing and there's going to be a new favor and there's going to be a resurrection a resurrection a resurrection of your church and a resurrection of your ministry i want you to take it right now i'm talking about a healing a healing of spiritual bankruptcy a healing a healing of natural bankruptcy in the name of jesus if you're going to accept it you gotta every, everything else that, that's god i'm talking about what's god not the fluff, not the hype. But when I told Lord I wanted revival, told Lord I would pay any price for revival, I said, my God. Just one anointing, one season in my life that would touch the world. I said, God, I'll pay any price for this one, one grace. I said, my God, if it's 90 days, if it's if it's 120 days, just let it touch the world. Just one season. It's so precious, a move of God's Spirit. It's so different than anything else that you've ever done. I said, my God. I know it's a portal that's open that'll never close. But you need to understand, it's so precious to come back night after night and to feel the anointing that I feel night after night in this pulpit. Oh, God. I'll lay anything down. It's cost my wife and I coming into this outpouring have paid every price you could imagine. And before I was ready for this hour, I can honestly say I was more broken than at any other time of my life. I almost lost my health, physically, my body, my marriage, my ministry. Oh, but the glory today. My beautiful bride. Shauna today. And my health today. And nobody knows. But I said, Lord, I'd lay it all down again. And when I was praying this afternoon, I saw people paying the price and letting the offenses go. Because some people have an offendable heart. You get offended at everything. You could not have revival offended and the Bible says offenses will come they will come people will offend you but woe to the man that takes offense I told my staff every staff that I hired I said I may offend you not intentionally and there's opportunities every day for me to be offended just get on the internet and read some of what people are saying But the Lord said, woe to the man that takes an offense. Now, if you're ready because you know offenses will come, then when they come, you're not surprised. But I had a vision this afternoon, a reoccurring vision, where people were letting offenses go. I mean, people have been offended, the church, the ministry. People just let it go. And you just, 
you just decided, I will not have a heart that's offended. People made a decision tonight. Offenses will come, but I will not take one. It's too risky. And I've never been so protective over something that God did. I don't, I, when I hear my team murmur, gossip, grumble, we're, we're on it right away. Don't kill the revival. I'm so, I said, there are things that, that I may have let slide before that I won't let slide in this new state. Don't kill the revival with your drama. And I had this vision this afternoon. I had a little nap. Three o'clock. And I had this reoccurring vision. And the Lord said to me, the one thing that will hinder the move of God's spirit is offense. And then when we gave up our offense, Roy, I heard us singing a little song. <laughs> and, and, and Roy, I knew it was the song. We've sung it so many times before. It was just the chorus. The world has nothing for me. I will follow you. And in my vision this afternoon, people were washed from bitterness, offense, and unforgiveness hurt and pain and woundedness and we just sung that little song and the anointing came in an awesome way and if you're watching me tonight search your heart because God wants to give us an unprecedented move of his spirit a greater wave than the last wave. We're talking a tsunami wave. My God. This world has nothing for me. I will follow you. This world has nothing for me. I will follow you. This world has nothing for me. I will follow you. Come on, tell them tonight. This world has nothing for me. This world has nothing for me. I will follow this world has nothing for me. I will follow you. This world has nothing for me. I will follow you. This world has nothing for me. Because I need you, Jesus. 